First of all, we went to meet George Robertson from Voxbox to find out how he had got on with his training and to see if it made a difference. Well, we're a shop that specialises in uh, music, uh, particularly vinyl, um, collectible vinyl, a lot of jazz and blues, but also new vinyl. What was attractive to you about the World Host programme? What difference did you think that was going to make to your business? Well, because you know we've come into retail recently, uh, and in fact the people around about, there's no training for people actually setting up businesses, and particularly with how to deal with uh, customers and uh, the relationship you develop with w with the customers. And the thing that attracted me particularly to it was that that's really what this was all about. It was how to uh, improve your business, how t to really appreciate the value of your customers, and indeed to uh, you know the value of, of returning customers as well and that's that's very very important for us and of course the street benefits because when people come in here there are so many shops round about that uh, you know the mums can go into the dads can go into uh, along for a, a coffee in the, the Italian coffee shop so there's quite a bit of business developed between the uh, between the shops as well. So what you're really saying is that here in St. Stephen Street you have quite a community of small shops and small traders and uh, most of you have gone for this World Host uh, accreditation. Yeah, absolutely. We had to get a certain percentage of the, the traders involved, which we did, and then within the shops we had to get at least half the staff involved in the training, which we did. And uh, I, I think it, that's been very successful and certainly the reaction to training day was uh, really positive. I've been involved in a lot of training days in previous uh, occupations and very often people are looking at their watch halfway through but certainly in this, this case um, the training I thought was, was of a very high standard. Great, well I wish you uh, luck in the future now that you've been properly trained. Yeah, thank you very much. We then met up with Jojo Hernandez, who owns Lilies and Dreams, further along St Stephen Street. So I'm Jojo Hernandez from Lilies and Dreams. I am here as part of the World Host Accreditation. We're the first destination Scotland to be accredited as a street for St Stephen Street. Well done you, and what did you have to do to get accredited? So it's a recognition of the retail and customer service retail excellence that we offer as a street. So we're all individually, we work together as a combined training course and we also work in-house to ensure that we give a, a continuous level of service that um, exceeds what our customers are looking for. So that means you're all going to be extremely nice to all your customers. Is that not in your interest anyway? Always nice to the customers, of course, but no, it just shows that it, we're prepared to go a little bit further, you know, all of us as separate businesses, do something quite unique and very niche in St. Stephen Street. So it's nice that we can show that customers are really our top priority.